All right, fifth graders, today we're doing illustrative math, grade five, unit four, lesson five, standard algorithm with multi-digit numbers without composing. So we're going to use the standard algorithm to multiply two digit by three digit numbers. Yesterday we did two di three digit numbers by one digit. So we're going to use that same method, but today we're going to do two digits. All right, here's our number talk. Find the value of each product mentally. Well, we start off with an easy one. Two times three is six, and that's 20, so I know that that's going to be 60. All right. Well, I already know that two times 20 times three is 60, so I can write that down. And then three times four is 12. So that's going to be 72. Circle my answers. All right. Here we have, I already know that 20, I didn't get my pen. There it goes. 20 times 3, I know that that's 60. So now I only have to do is do this 1 times 3. But this is 100, isn't it? 100 times 3 is 300. So I know the answer to that is going to be 360. Okay, let's move on. 140 times 3. Well, up here, uh, let's say, let's do 40 times 3. So I know 4 times 3 is going to be 12, 120. And then I have a 100 times 3, which I've already done. That's a 300. So when I add those two together, I get 100 plus 300 is 400. And 20 and that should be an equal sign not a plus sign right so 420 all right Let's see if they have another one how do the tens in 20 times 3 compare to the tens in 24 times 3 well there's there's one more 10 in 24 times 3 that came from the 3 times 4 right so there's one more 10 in the 24 times 3 than this one. And that's why this one's 6 tens and this one is 7 tens. How do the hundreds in 120 times 3 compare to the hundreds in 140 times 3? Well, in this one I had 3 hundreds and in this one I have 4 hundreds because I had to carry that 100 from the 40 times 3, right? I had to carry that one as well. Right. Okay, Ooh, here we go. Here's our new first activity. Two algorithms for finding the value of 413 times 21 are shown. How are the two algorithms the same and how are they different? Let's start with number one. How are they the same and how are they different? Well, I can see that in this algorithm, we have some partial products. We have a lot of steps. So let's see what they did. They said 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 10 is 10, 1 times 400 is 400. And then they said 20 times 3 is 60, 20 times 10 is 200, and 20 times 400 is 8,000. And then they added them all together. That was seven steps to get that one. In the, sec in the second algorithm, so that's one algorithm, here's the second one. And we have three di two digits times three digits, remember? We talked about that. Okay, so we have one times three is three. And then over here, we have step two, we have one times three is three. And then we have a 13. How did we get that? Well, I think we did 1 times 3 is 3, and then we did 1 times 10, and we put that in the tens place. And then we have 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 10 is 10, and 1 times 4 is 400. Okay? So we have the same amount of steps, right? But we only have to write one line instead of writing these. So I can see over here that if I added these three together, I would get the same thing I have in step three. So let's look at step four. Now I'm finished with that one, aren't I? I have the 413. 
So now I'm going to say 20 times 3 is 60. And 20 times 1, 20 times 3 is 60. 20 times 10 is going to be 200, right? And then 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is going to be 8. So what did they do differently? They added this 10 because I'm multiplying everything by 20, right? By two tens. Erase that so you can see. So if I, it's the same as doing this one, except that instead of write, I have to write a zero here because this is 20 times 3 is 60. And then I could do 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 4 is 8. Then they added them together. All right, so how are they the same? Well, I think they got the same products every time they multiplied, right? They got the same partial. All six products are calculated in both, right? I have six steps. Let me erase some of this. I have six steps here before I add, and I have six steps here before I add. So that's the same. And then when they calculated, they calculated in the same order, didn't they? Right? 3, 10, 400, 60, 200, and 8,000. They calculated in them in the same order, and they both needed to add them up in the end. They both needed to add them up in the end. What was different about the two algorithms is that one algorithm lists each partial product on a separate line, while the other algorithm lists them on the same line. See? All the products for 20 are here, and all of the products for the ones are here. Okay? All right. Explain or show how, where you see each step from the algorithm in the, first, in the second algorithm. Well, we already talked about that, so I'm not going to repeat myself there. How do the final steps in the two algorithms compare? How do the two final steps in the two algorithms compare? Well, both have partial products that needed to be added. There are six different products that have to be added in the first one, six different products. In the second, there are only two things I have to add together. So that's how they compare. All right, let's move on. We already talked about how they're the same. We have to talk about how they're different. How, what does the first partial product in 413 mean? The first partial product in 413 mean? So I think what they're asking there, what does it represent? The partial product right here, we know that one times one times 413 will be 413. One times 413 will be 413. What does the second partial product 8,260 represent? Well, it represents these four steps here, doesn't it? These four steps here and right here. Okay. All right. So... I think this one represents 413 times 1, and this represents 413 times 20. Okay. Use the standard algorithm to find the value of each expression. All right, we're going to start with number 1. All right, so I'm going to put number one over here, 202 times 12. So I'm going to use the standard algorithm. I'm not going to use partial products because that's what it says in the direction, standard algorithm. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 0 tens will be 0. And 2 times 2 is 4. And then I'm going to do 10. Remember, this is in the tens place. 10 times 2 is 20. 10 times 0 is 0. And 10 times 200 is 200. That's correct. Okay. Just got to make sure I'm making my, I'm doing that right. 2 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 0. And 2 times 2, nope, that would not be right. 
sorry, did that wrong. 1 times 2 is 2. There we go. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 0 plus 2 is 2, and 4 plus 0 is 4. And then I carry the 2 down because there's nothing to add it to. And the answer to that one would be 2,424. All right, let's look at number 2. I'll put number 2 over here so I can give myself some room to work. So I have 122 times 33. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. So I didn't have to carry any 10s over or anything, right? So then I'm going to do 30 times 2 is going to be 60. And then 3 times 2 is 6. I don't have to worry about it being 30 times 20 because it's in the hundreds place already, right? 30 times 20 would be 600, but that's already in the hundreds place. Then I'll do 30 times 100 is 3,000, and it's already in the th uh, thousands place. So then I add those up. 6 plus 6 is 12. I'm going to carry that over. 9, I'm sorry, 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 1 is 10, and 3 plus 1 is 4, so 4,026. Okay, now I have one last one to do, and this one I might have to carry. Let's see. So I'm going to put that one right here, number three. So let's write the answers. Two, four, two, four, four thousand twenty-six. And now I'm doing three hundred and twenty-one times twenty-four. Four times one is four. Four times twenty is eight. And four times three is twelve. Twenty times one is going to be. 20. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 3 is 6. Again, I don't have to worry about saying 20 times 300 because I know that that's going to be 6,000 and it's already in the thousands place. I'm running out of room, but I'm going to go ahead and write over this next problem. 4, 10, 6, 7, and 7. So this one's 7,000. 704. All right, I'm going to have to erase some of that so that I can see Diego's problem. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me erase this part. Put this back. This was 4 and that was 6. All right, and we have the answer over bar. Okay, Diego found the value of 301 times 24. Here is his work. Why doesn't Diego's answer make sense? All right, so let's look at what Diego did. Diego said 4 times 1 is 4. That looks good to me. And then 4 times 0 is 0. Yeah, so we can say that. Yeah, 4 times 3 is 12. Yeah, that looks good so far. Oh, here's where Diego's problem is, isn't it? He said 20 times 1 is 2, but he put it in the wrong place value. So this should be a 0, and the 2 should be over here. So how could we write that? So Diego's answer is going to be too small. Diego's answer is too small. I can estimate if I said 300 times 20, right, I'm estimating, that's going to give me about 6,000. So, and I only have 1,800 there, right? So if I were estimating 300 times 20, my answer should be close to 6,000, not 1,800 or 1,800. Okay, so I know that his answer is too small because he did not put, um, when he said 20 times 10, he did not put it in the right place value. Okay, let's see what we have next. How did you find the value of 122 times 33? Well, you saw me work that one, so we're not going to work it again. Let's see. How is multiplying 122 times 3 in the ones place instead of 33, the same as multiplying 123 by 3 in the tens place? Good question. Well, in 
both cases, um, the three is in the, in both cases, I get 366, right? So let's do that again. 122 times 3, 6, 6, 3. But when I add the 33, I still get 6, 6, 3, right? I still get those digits. So I bet they're going to ask us how it's different. How is it different? Yes. So this one is going to stay in the um, ones place, right? I'm going to write the answer in the ones place and then 20 times this and then 3 times this, right? But then the 3 in the tens place represents 30. That's 30 times 122. So it's going to be one more digit to the left. They're going to have to shift to the left because it's really 3,660. So this is the same as this, but then this was 30 times 122. That's how I have to think about it. All right. Today, we use the standard algorithm to multiply two-digit number by a three-digit number. Why doesn't Diego's answer make sense? What advice would you give to to revise Diego's thinking. Well, it doesn't make sense because his product is too small, right? We talked about that. 300 times 20 would be 3 times 2 is 6, and I have 1, 2, 3 zeros there. So I need an answer close to 6,000. So what advice would I give him? I would need to, to remind him that the 2 in 24 is really a 20. It's in the tens. It's two tens. So two tens times one should be 20. So this, if I would cross this out and I would make a zero here, uh, two here, two times zero is zero, and then this would be six, All right? Yes, yeah. All right, so he needs to write the two in the tens place instead of the ones, okay. Use the standard algorithm to find 203 times 33. 203 times 33. So let's see if we can do this. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. So I'm done with that one. Now I have to think 30 times 3 is going to be 90. This has to be written in the tens place, right? Because it's really 30. And then 30 times 0 is 0. And then 30 times 200 is 6,000, right? So it's in the thousands place. Now I can add those together and get 6,000. Did I write that wrong? 23. I did write that wrong. Well, we can finish this one and then do the right one. Okay, so 203 times 23, Woo. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 2 is 6. And then I have to remember that this is a 20, not a 30, right? Um, not a 2. So two time, or 20 times 3 is going to be 60. And then we have a 0, 2 times, three, two times 0 is 0, and then 2 times 2 is Four. There we go. Nine plus zero is nine. Zero plus six is six. Six plus zero is six. And four with nothing is four. There we go. Whew. I have to remember, just like you do, boys and girls, to write my numbers correctly. All right. That's it for lesson five. I'll see you for lesson six.